Okay, here we are in Okoro Bravo. We're gonna go after La Gringa. El Sueño's discovered that La Gringa's been cutting the purity of her cocaine, and he sent his people to kill her. Get to La Gringa and bring her in. She's got nowhere else to go. So La Gringa is the underboss in the production operation. Let's go ahead and play the Kingslayer file. The Santa Blanca cocaine production pipeline, led by El Yayo. It all starts in the fields with the harvesting of the Erythroxlum novogranitens, aka the coca plant. Of the 200 known species of Erythroxlum, only two contain usable levels of cocaine, so you have to know what you're planting. El Yayo knows what he's planting. First, his people strip the leaves off the plant. Then the leaves are dried, finely chopped, and sent to the lab. That's where this chick comes in. La Gringa here is an American chemist with Mensa level IQ and sub-zero morality numbers. They take the chopped leaves, dust them with lime. That's right, lime. Then pour diesel fuel all over them. Stir for three days. You can use a washing machine or a cement mixer, but Santa Blanca does it by hand. Then they mix all this shit with sulfuric acid, a dash of caustic soda, and bam, cocaine paste. You dry it, chuck in more acid, and pretty soon you got powder. But now you have to purify it because no one wants to snort yellow powder. It's gross. So, a little more acid, some potassium permanganate, pyrolusite, hungry yet? Filter it with ammonia and beautiful, pure white cocaine. But everyone knows how to do this, right? What makes Santa Blanca so special? What makes SB a brand? Because they figured it out. How to mass produce a custom product, plant genetics, logistics, mechanization, state-of-the-art labs, reduction of redundancies, quality control, purity of chemicals, and of course, the secret sauce. They're geniuses. They've taken coke production into the 22nd century. What Henry Ford did for the factory, they've done for the lab. They're innovators, they're pioneers, they're SB. Wow, that was pretty uh, informative. All right, let's go after the gringa. Now that he's gone, the farmers in Okoro are taking back control of cocaine production. It's still small, but they'll get back on their feet. I asked the rebels to send over a vehicle for us. This is your combat vehicle, Kumpa. Okay. So as I've mentioned before, um, there's one Buchong who I can't remove from the equation. I'll drive. So that prevents me from clearing the. Uh, I'm cool, let's move. The operation head. Time for some off-roading. Who? Oh. Fucking hell. I wanted a chopper, but I picked the uh, SUV by mistake. So I'm improvising. So, so far Ubisoft has released two uh, DLC content, story content. From what I understand, um, they're story related, but they're not related to the main campaign. So you have to like, use separate characters from the ones that you're using from the main story. So I guess they're like either prequels or like um, sequels, or just they take place independently of the events of this game. Which kind of sucks. So similar to uh Ooh, your village is just up ahead. Let's hustle and get to like Gringa before the cartel does. Right behind you, boss. Ramon Feliz, the blogger, we're we're not gonna kill the Gringa, we're capturing them, protecting them. Ramon Feliz was killed before we could get to him. Okay, let's go. Uh, I see the dots. Get 
let's go. Actually, in the long run, it's better that I have the SUV. Looks like some of Katari's rebels are defending like Ringa's house. Fuck's going on here? Hey, Pakatari wants to save the Gringa. All right, let's call some more rebels. Oh. Call for some rebels to back us up. Copy, amigo. Sending you a fire team. All right, let's mortar their asses. Drone is up. I call the rebels for mortar fire. We copy. Fire for effect. Fall into the pool. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Frag out. Oh shit. That was easy. That's kind of cool. It's like a, a set piece. Alright, let's get some ammo. Let's go to the basement. I wouldn't be surprised if Lagringa is already dead. Maybe she killed herself. Who are you? What do you want? We're your way out of this mess, understand? But we've got to move right fucking now. I won't get far. Not like this. I know someone. He lives in a village not far from here. The rebels, they take their wounded to him when they can. Oh, God. How old do you know that rebel doctor? He won't talk to the cartel. If that's what you're afraid of, they don't scare him. He's the bravest guy I know. We met when I was working with the NGO. The fake NGO. He was the local guy. And a few years and a few tons of coke later, he introduces you to the rebels. He needed medicine. I had the money. I don't get you. What do you get out of playing both sides? Hell if I know. I came to Bolivia to help people. That's all I was trying to do. Hola Yankee, we got your chopper. Alright, hop in. Let's go. Let's go. I got it. I'll fly. I'm on. So I just have the standard edition. I didn't get the season pass or the deluxe edition. And I don't think I'm interested in the DLC content. Gotta hold on, Grinka. We still got a ways to go. I don't know about that. I'm going, I'm going to Is she gonna make it? She better. What were rebels doing protecting your house? That guitar must have sent them to protect me. Don't quit on me now, lady. Sight's just up ahead. Hola. Who are you? What do you want? You know this woman? What happened? Believe me, Doc, it's better if you don't know. She's got a GSW to the shoulder. Can you help her? Si, por supuesto. Leave her with me. I'll do everything I can. We'll buy you all the time we can, but you need to work fast. I've got a feeling Sueño's not done with her yet. Doc with the face tattoo. Classic. Alright, let's go. Hunker down, bitches. Contact. Swenio sent another crew after us. Take him down. Let's mine the shit out of this road. Oh, shit. Oh! Damn. Alright, we need some more backup. Yeah. Yo, let's 
the mine over here. So I got the uh, guns for hire skill maxed out. The rebels are doing all the work. Clean up and move on. Too bad you can't like give them orders or anything like that. Ghosts, regroup. Rally on me. So based on the radar, it looks like I have one, two, three. I have like seven rebels. So it looks like the game prevents you from calling too many rebels. Given the doc all the time we can. One way or another, we're getting La Gringa out of here. Okay, Gringa, time to go. Please, just give me a minute. We don't have a minute, girl. The cocktail the doc just gave you? I bet you can't even feel your face, let alone that bullet. You got me there. We're leaving. You feel like you're gonna keel over a puke? Just look at the horizon. It'll keep you steady. All right, we out. Shit to us. How would I know? You're not cold, are you? We're at the extraction point. Get her to Bowman and call for a dust off. Will the Gringa make it? Shit out of that fleet of drug shops. Too bad about it, Cerebro, but I hear some of our people. It's called tactical field care. Stop being such a pussy. Oh, God. Here. Open it. Open it. Her extract is ten minutes out. Oh, fucking hell. I'll be glad to be rid of this whiny bitch. Your little clinic might have bought you some redemption with the rebels, but that crap doesn't play for me. But with a set of lungs like yours, you're gonna be a big hit in prison. Why don't you just let me die? The thought had crossed my mind. But five years from now, ten, hell, maybe even fifty years from now, when I'm so old I can't even wipe my own ass, it's gonna make me happy to think of little Mousy Lagringa and all those nasty friends she made in prison. I don't care. I'm happy to go to your prison. A lifetime, ten lifetimes in prison is better than Swingyo. Your worst could never compare to his. Let's check the overview. Okay, so now we gotta wait for the opportunity to go after El Yayo. 